two weeks into the NFL preseason, and many players are already sitting out the national anthem. Their grievance, America itself. This week, protesters met outside the NFL headquarters in New York to express outrage over the league's systemic racism, which is somehow keeping quarterback Colin Kaepernick unsigned and out of a job. Protesters had lots of fervor. Watch. We are here because we believe Colin Kaepernick deserves a job. Today, it is time for the NFL to take a stand. No justice! No racist! Police! When I say NFL, you say what the hell? NFL? What the hell? NFL? What the hell? It's political for the NFL not to give Colin Kaepernick a job. Now the NAACP wants in on the action and is threatening a possible boycott of the league if they can't get a meeting with the NFL commissioner to discuss Kaepernick's status. Gerald Griggs is the vice president of the NAACP Atlanta chapter. He's involved in the boycott discussions and he joins us tonight. Mr. Griggs, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tucker. So you have a league that is 70% African-American. 70% of the players are black as compared to about 13% of the population. So clearly there's no racism in hiring. You have a guy who signed a contract in 2014 for like $126 million, collected $39 million of that. Just on the basis of those facts alone, it's hard to see how Colin Kaepernick at 29 is a victim of racism. Tell me how he is. Well, considering that he's the 17th best quarterback in the league, in a league that employs well over 90 quarterbacks, there's no reason for him to not have a job at this point. Yes, he did opt out of his contract and decided to take his talents to another team. But the fact that, again, only 16 other quarterbacks have a higher quarterback rating than Colin Kaepernick speaks a lot to what's going on with the NFL and the reason why we believe this is an issue of race. Okay, now maybe the owners are making a poor decision and not picking up Colin Kaepernick. I'm not qualified to assess, I doubt you are either. But what, what makes you suspect it's racial? Again, the league is 70% black. If anything, it seems like it might be able to use a little diversity. I mean, that's, that's not, I mean, how is that racism? I'm, I'm honestly confused. Well, the issue is with the ownership. And again, there are no uh, owners that are African-American. There's one owner that's a person of color. So you have 32 teams, 32 owners who we believe are acting in a way that is that goes against um, putting a good product on the field. If it's about ability and, and the ability to win games and, and to produce on the field, Colin Kaepernick's stats speak for themselves. Again, his quarterback rating shows that he's the 17th best quarterback in the league. There's no reason why he should not be able to at least get a training camp invite to be able to show his talents on the field. Okay, so he signed for $126 million before. How much do you think he should sign for this time? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not qualified to answer that question. I'm qualified okay. enough to know uh, that his quarterback rating, again, rates him the, the 17th best quarterback in the league. He threw okay. 16 touchdowns to four interceptions. Uh, he had a 90 quarterback rating. There are quarterbacks who have a job like Eli Manning, quarterbacks like Phillip Rivers who have far less quarterback rating last year alone well, then that have, let me jobs, just ask have you, starting jobs. Yeah, I mean, but again, neither of us is a coach or a talent scout, so let me just ask you the obvious question. If the owners, owners are racist, why are 70% of their employees black? Wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't they not want to hire black people if they're racist and pay them hundreds well, of millions is, of dollars? This is about talent. And again, his talent speaks for itself. If there's no other reason than talent that's keeping him off the field, I think that's a question better asked to the owners. Okay, so, again, so, this is, so the question I want to ask you, 70, I got it. Yeah, he's a great player okay. and all that stuff, but somehow they're racist. And that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what talent and that's what the NFL right. is about. It's about putting a good product on the field. Right, so you represent the NAACP. Here's my yes, question to you. Yes, I'm the vice you. president of the NAACP Atlanta. That's right. So over 70% of black children were born out of wedlock this year. Is that a bigger problem or a smaller problem than Colin Kaepernick getting another $126 million contract? Because okay, I don't hear you saying anything of, about that. Set, well, first off, if you Google me, you'll see the work that I do in the African-American community here in Atlanta. So a question like 70% of the African-American children being born out of wedlock, yeah, it seems I think like a that's big a big deal. Bait. We're focused, it's not a we're bait, focused it's a fact. on, we're, we're focused, we're focused, well, what is the rate in Atlanta? I, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. 
So you could tell me the rate I don't in Atlanta, know. Here you tell you me the rate in Georgia. Here you are sucking up to a guy who just signed a $126 million contract. I think in a country of $320 million, you could find someone who's actually the victim of racism or oppression. But this guy, who's 29 years old and has more money than God, he's the victim? It just doesn't, that, I guess that's what I'm saying. There are a lot of people who might want to, you know, might need your help. Kaep how is Kaepernick yes, one of them? Is he paying you? And I mean, a, I assume you're getting money again, out of no, this. For, well, f first off, I'm not getting any money. This is not about any paid protest. I don't believe that. This is not that. about a narrative that, the narrative that you're going to spend. This is about talent. It's about the NFL, and it's about the NFL needing to answer the question why the 17th best quarterback in the league is out of a job right so now. So you're not, will, will, yeah, you, will, you answer, about, will you answer this? About, will you answer this? If it's about this? talent. If it's about it's, it's talent, the, then they need to answer so the talent question. That, uh, look, my last question. Do you feel that you're devaluing mm -hmm. any of your moral authority to the extent your organization has any left by no, we're not taking we're, your we're time not and energy defending 29-year-old millionaires against fake accusations of racism? Okay. Again, we're not losing any of our moral authority to do anything. We're not going to get into name-calling or debasing anyone. We're talking facts, and the facts okay. are clear. He is the 17th best quarterback in okay, the league. I got it. And it just seems no like, you know, real he reason need your why help. he's okay. not on a team right now. All and right. again, we are sending a strong message to the NFL. Mr. Goodell <laughs> has gotten a letter. <laughs> I hope he can he meet with us. You. <laughs> if he decides not to meet with us, then we'll right. take appropriate actions after that. All right. I appreciate well, the opportunity that, being on your show. Thanks. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank too. you, Tucker. Have a great Thank day. Thank you, Jim. You too.